Okay, this uh, video demonstrates how to use the Ninja Trader in combination with the data stream technology from the Winter Trade platform. So this way you can Ninja Trader and um, simulate a source data feed via your Ninja Trader charting platform. So well, you start with your Ninja Trader control center, uh, which I've opened here as a uh, demonstration version, connected to the data feed of your source. Um, you will open the new um, just a new chart. Uh, um, so in this case, uh, we will just use a simple euro, US dollar forex chart here. Um, yeah, open the normal chart here in uh, linear trader. And now, uh, what is important, you apply um, the pre built uh, interface via the indicator WTT data stream. Uh, which is uh, delivered via Winter Trade and is available to download um, via the section here. So this indicator makes sure that the data is uh, pushed in real time over to the Winter Trade platform. So um, once you applied it, there are three important parameters. The first one is uh, the path where the intermediate interface is working, but it, this is detected automatically. So nothing to do for you. The second thing is the symbol name. Um, under this symbol name, you can open the chart in the Winter Trade platform. It's also automatically set based on the chart you've opened. So there's no need to change this manually. This will automatically be set to the chart um, instrument name you've opened. And the third information is the update frequency here in milliseconds. Uh, in which frequency you want to update the chart in real time here. So let's set the update frequency to, for this example, um, just to uh, one second, which equals 1000 milliseconds here. So um, all other parameters don't need to be changed at all. So the only thing you have to set up is the update frequency you want to have in your Winter Trade platform. That's all. You just apply it. Uh, to the chart so there's nothing ch seen it's it's working in the background you just see here in, in the upper line that this one is activated here and that's all so now you can leave a ninja trader um, as your data feed running in the background you will open a uh, winter trade platform um, and now select there um, the data stream interface as uh, um, yeah, data feed, so uh, you will choose the data stream technology. Um, then you need to set the source folder, which have been set up by um, the indicator. It's the same, which will be found here by indicators, um, parameters, and paths. So uh, this information shown here um, is used as the path which you can put via copy and paste um, in the winter trade information section here. So you just need to make sure that the path which is automatically set up is put into your data stream source folder here. So normally it's put into the individual documents WTT data stream folder. So this is the standard setting. Um, you need to do this only once and it's saved for future uses here. So, and the second thing to set up here um, is the daytime interpreter, but there's also nothing to change on your end. It's automatically set up that this is working this way, so only touch it if you know what you want to do. So we just press OK. So now uh, when to trade is um, connected to the Ninja Trader platform, and now we can pull up the chart here. Um, in our case, um, we have set up the euro, US dollar, one minute chart, and just we'll pull up the chart here as you would do it with uh, any other data feed here. So, and what you see now on the screen um, is the chart just based on the Ninja Trader data sheet. I will just adjust the um, style here that it's looking uh, quite um, similar. To what you are familiar with um, from the Ninja Trader screen, um, yeah. And now you will see if you put the charts side by side that this information here from the Ninja Trader is just updating in real time. So you see here new information coming up uh, from this tick information, and you see here on the Venture Trade platform 
how the bar is updated nearly in real time and the update frequency here is set to one second. Um, so you will see that now the charts are in sync and you can use your winter trade platform to apply all the cycle tools um, which is hooked up now on the ninja trader so no need to add uh, separate data feeds to your winter trade platform you can just hook on your ninja trader tools data feeds and uh, sources stocks and uh, futures forex whatever you have in ninja trader and just push it over to your winter trade charting here so that's the way how to set it up to sync ninja trader and the winter chart platform between the two data feeds. Of course you can set up different things. So once you have these um, data feed in your trader running in the background, you can just pull up another chart. Um, let's say we want to have a five-minute chart. So there's no need to set up an individual five-minute chart in your trader. So it will use the same data feed and just pull it up in a, a five-minute um, chart here. So what you have here now, you use the same data feed um, to build two different charts, the five minute um, and the one minute chart. And you will see that they are quite in sync. Um, uh, just setting the style here the same. So now you have the uh, you have the five minute chart here on the right and the one minute chart on the left and you see that price is updating just in sync just based on your um, yeah then you trade the data feed here so you can pull up uh, different charts and when to trade based on the one minute data you have now received via the on your trade data feed and you can see how these uh, ticks are updating just with intra bar updates in uh, yeah when to trade um, Let's just see how the ticks come in here in any trader. So this is the real time data feed. And you will see how they update here on the right hand in winter trade. So let's just wait until we have the next new tick coming in. There you have it, and you have seen that um just winter trade is just updating quite quite in sync here. Okay, thanks. That's the way how to set up Ninja Trader and Winter Trade via the data stream technology.